Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Dr. Isai Pantami, has given assurances that Nigeria will emerge as a strong force like China in a few years' time. The minister gave the charge during a formal presentation of 10 Nigerian students selected for scholarship by the Huawei Technologies in China from top universities in Nigeria after tests and interviews. He challenged the youth to take advantage of digital opportunities and skills to aspire to be the agent of digital economic change, which Nigeria desperately desires now. According to him, the awardees should think of how to employ 50,000 people in the next few years after their training in China and to bridge gap between academia and industry. The minister, who described the selected scholars as Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs of Nigeria, congratulated them on the success they have recorded so far. He also challenged them to learn from emerging technologies that put China on the top ladder of development and bring them home with disruptive ideas that will change the lives of other Nigerians for good. Based on this trip you intend to embark on for this visit to China, most importantly to Huawei, as I have heard from the leader of the team, you will be exposed to hands-on training. And this is what is very important. That hands-on training will bridge the gap between the academia and the industry. People in the academia are good in research and development, sometimes with crazy ideas. In the industry in Nigeria, people are good in hands-on, but they have no crazy ideas. So this is a journey for you to personally bridge the gap that has been existing between your life on campus as a student and the industry that is your potential destination where you are expected to get ready to support your own contribution. Come up with big ideas. Big ideas that will completely change the world and you need mentorship. This trip, as far as we are concerned, is part of the mentorship program you have started enrolling. Your mentors now are Huawei and you are the mentees. So throughout the trip, make sure you are learning from the skills, from the experience. Let them share the experience of what they have achieved so far. The way they struggled before to achieve this success is very important. That will help you to persevere the challenges that may come ahead. Being digital personalities or potential digital personalities, don't be thinking of uh, being potential employees. Come up with big ideas where you will become a potential employer. Instead of looking for someone to employ you, what we want you to achieve, each and every one of you should think on how to employ 50,000 people in the next few years. So we have potential employers here, not potential employees. Speaking earlier, the managing director where we technologies company Nigeria Limited, Mr. Zunglulu, said, Huawei has been part of the success story of Nigeria's ICT sector in the past 20 years. According to him, the company believes that people are the most valuable assets and investment in people is the most important investment. You are at what you are doing, how brave you are chasing your dream, and how capable you are turning ideas and thoughts into reality. This year marks the 20th year of Huawei Nigeria, and in the past 20 years, there have been great progress in the Nigeria ICT field. Based on the NCC's latest report, we can see the number of uh, mobile subscribers in Nigeria has reached 276 million, and making Nigeria number one mobile users country in the Africa. There, there, these are not possible without the great leadership of the government, efforts of the industry players, and you. And Huawei is also pr proud to be part of, of making this happen. At Huawei, we believe the people are the most valuable asset, and the invest in people is the most important investment. We feel the same joy when we see a lady get a job after network switching training. And it matters to us when we heard a young man who lost an opportunity because of his lack of data analysis skills. We feel it is more an obligation than an option to join hands with government and other partners 
in increasing Nigeria's ICT competence.